Okay. Uh, right. We have discussed about chapter number one before we discuss in the examination paper last day. We just discuss about our chapter number two. We started discussing about that and hope you remember that we have categorized computers according to the size and performance. That is the first category that we have categorized. The second category is we have categorized computers according to the purpose. So these are the two categories that we learn. And we learn about what is computer first. A computer is a system. A system is an interrelated, interconnected set of devices work for a common goal. Actually, computer system is an interrelated, interconnected set of devices working for the common goal of electronic data processing. What it does? It does electronic data processing. It takes the input, processes it, produce information electronically. So that is the task of computer system. We learned that. So there are many subcomponents in this computer system. Mainly three subcomponents in the computer system, hardware subsystem, software subsystem, and liveware subsystem. So those are the three subsystems in the computer system. Hardware means physical or tangible components of the computer system. So let me again explain. The computer system has three parts, hardware, software, liveware. And from this hardware, software, liveware, so let, let me short, uh, give a short note. Computer system, it has hardware, subsystem. Second thing is software, subsystem. And the third thing is liveware, subsystem. So these are the three subsystems in computer system hardware, software, and liveware. Actually, hardware are tangible components of the computer system. Software are intangible programs, instructions, a set of instructions, you can say. So those are software with the, the related documentation and related, uh, related documentation as well as but uh, data structures, yes, true. Documentation and data structure, there is software. And liveware means the people who are using, managing, engineering, creating, selling, all these people, we, uh, we, have, we are categorizing them under liveware. Actually, hardware has six parts. Hardware system has six other components. Can you tell me those six, please? We discussed already. Number one is, yes? input devices. Number two is output devices. So if you don't know the summary, you can write down. Number three is memory. And number four is uh, processing. Number five is uh, storage. And number six is communication. These are the components which are there in the hardware subsystem. Under the software subsystem, there are two main categories. So that is system software and application software. System software and application software. Actually, system software works with hardware, whereas application software works with live or the users application software addresses user needs system software is those are working with hardware hardware ekwada karne ma system software users latte ekwada karne ma application software hardware category high i software category dekai pradhana vashayen kare tawa thiyena sub categories oma tama computer system ekke summary ekak api katha kare so that is for the processing data okay so I hope you, you know this summary. If you have any doubts, you can ask this time, right? Let's move to the next part.
Okay, so let's proceed. Right, then, so under this uh, computer classification, we learn about supercomputers, mainframe, mini computers, microcomputers, and also according to the technology, analog and digital computers, we learn about that clearly, and hybrid computers, which is actually a mix of analog digital. So then we learn about this diagram, which is actually a logical diagram or block diagram of the computer system how logically the hardware devices are connected, how logically these hardware devices are connected. We learn about that. Then we were studying about each and every component. First, input devices. Under the input devices, so the main, or we call that uh, the basic or main input device, primary input device, that is your keyboard. Why it is primary? Because in any kind of computing device, you can see a keypad or keyboard. This primary input device. It is not mouse. It is not any other component. It is surely the keyboard. That is primary input device. <coughs> this N is not there. It's a mistake, right? So this, uh, so this is the most common, so we call primary. And uh, so in the keyboard, there are 104 keys normally, but it can even be 100, 101, 102, 108, and it can even be more in case of multimedia. Normally 104 keys, but it can be less than that. There are 100 key keyboards, key C, a keyboard, C, a keyboard. And 101, 102, and not So this common is 104, 108. It's a very you know, 108 or above. A very multimedia keys, same volume up, volume down. These keys can also be integrated with the keyboard, right? Then it can be more than 108. Okay, you need to know about this functionalities of each section. So basically, we have alphanumeric keys. That is alphabetic and numbers. These are called alphanumeric or typing keys. Alphanumeric key and brand and type karana pavichikan name. Then you have special keys, tab key, caps lock key, shift key, and control keys. Control, alt, so end, this home, these are control keys. And these are called arrow keys, which is not mentioned there. And here you have the numpad or numerical keypad. So what's the difference between these numbers and these numbers? So one is also numbers. Two is also numbers. So what is the difference? One and two? Yes, any idea? What's the difference? You should know, Kute. One, two. You are using this now? And they all are same now, sir? Yes, numbers all are same, but so there is a fundamental difference. The second type of numeric keys work when the number of keys on. Yes, actually, the second part has two functionalities. That is number functionality. It can be used as a numbers or it can be used as arrows, right? Here you have arrows, numbers, arrows. If num lock is off, it's using it's used for navigation. If numbers num lock is off, sorry, if num lock is there, it's used for navigation. But when it's not there, so then it's used for num used as numbers. Actually, in this number pad, you can use to insert any character into the text document. So that is the wonderful feature of this num lock num lock pad. If you have numlock pad, you can try this. Those who are having numlock pad, you can go to the chat now. Chat in the Zoom. Zoom make a chat Those who are having numpad only, right? But make sure you have the numpad, the second keyboard. But if you have only the first number set, it this won't work. Okay, if you have the second number set, try to press Alt key and 65. Press the Alt key, then press 65. Release Alt key after pressing 65. 
ඕල්ට් එක ගහලා හැට පහ ගහලා ඊට පස්සේ ඕල්ට් එක රිලීස් කරා. ඒ කියන්නේ ඕල්ට් එක ගහගෙනම හැට පහ ගන්න. while pressing the alt key you have to press the press 65. while pressing the alt key you have to press 65 and then release it. ah uh, yes lash in. you have a keyboard with it seems you have a keyboard with uh what a num lock pad so it's given what it's given character a right taken character a ka enne you can see it's given character a then right you can see 66 is character b alt plus 66 character b alt i 66 character b alt 66 67 character c alt 97 kara simple letter a alt ekai 97 gewama simple letter a alt ekai 60 sorry 97 so this will work only in the මේක වැඩ කරන්නේ මේ නම් ලොක් පැඩ් එකක් තියනවා නම් රයිට් සෝ නොට් ඔන්ලි දැට් යු කැන් ඊවන් එන්ටර් ස්මයිලිස් ඩිෆරන්ට් කීස් ඔය සිංගල් අකුරු ඉංග්‍රීසි අකුරු ඒ ඕන එකක් ටයිප් කරන්න බලන්න චයිනීස් අකුරු anything is possible alt and one it is smiley see alt එකයි එක එක ඉලක්කම ලෂ් ඇන් ට්‍රයි ඉට් alt and one alt key and one so then what it gives smiley right alt key 2 another smiley alt key 3 so likewise this alt key can be used with this number pad that is the speciality that me pad then puluwan numbers arrow sut puluwan e wage me alt key ekat ekka press karot me keyboard ekeng onama character ekak type karanna puluwan that is the speciality three things you can type numbers you can use as the navigation keys you can use as arrows and also you can use as uh, the symbolic key symbolic keys to enter any symbol using the keyboard you can use enter any kind of symbol right i think it's clear to you so let's move to the next part next you have point in devices before we learn about the point in devices i would like to highlight or emphasize a small thing to you that is about the screen the screen or the computer screen that you see the computer screen that you see it has two dimensions so one dimension is x dimension the other dimension is y dimension right it has two things x dimension and y dimension let's move to the not we have not released not for april the reason is actually we have not finished this one and for may you will be a uh, no there will be a not actually we were discussing about examination in two weeks no that's the reason that i ha i have not issued any not so let's go to the end of this and at this part i'll actually bring that to the new tube but for the moment you can add it to the end of the current tube right i'll add this to a new tube don't worry so string has x and y coordinates please write down x and y coordinates x is starting from top left corner y starts from from the top left corner y start from the top left and 
incrementing towards bottom left. X is incrementing towards <coughs> increment, sorry, X is incrementing towards top right. X is incrementing towards top right. Actually, this is called monitor X and Y coordinates. And I'll show you a small image, which will be useful in understanding this. And I think uh, this is better. No need to use complex things. Let's draw this simple rectangle and show this. This is how X and Y changing in the computer screen. The smallest screen measurement unit is a pixel. The total number of pixels is called screen resolution. That will be expressed using horizontal X pixels into vertical Y pixels. Example, you can say 800 by 600. It says X side 800, Y side 600. Hold, you are not multiplying and telling the value. Instead of that, you are telling the X side pixels into Y side pixels. So that is the stream resolution, right? Actually, why we learn about this screen resolution? Because we have to learn about this point in devices. Point in devices can be used to access any pixel in the screen. That is the purpose, actually. If you want to access any pixel, you are using a point in devices. Examples, mouse, joystick, light pen, cracker ball, touch pad, touch screen, so these are joystick, oh yes, we wrote those, these are called pointing devices, please write down this quickly, if you are done, please tell me, Any device that is used to access this X and Y point in area, so we call any device which is going to point, point something, point means show something, select something in this pixel area in the screen. We call that a point in device. That is very simple definition. So we learn about so different point in devices, keyboard, then the touchpad, joystick, different joysticks are there. So some joystick you have, I think you have seen these, some joysticks are there, those are looks like uh, steering wheel. Joystick, uh, not this, joystick uh, here. So these joystick, there are different types. Some are even look, look, some joysticks are there, which looks like um, here. It's a joystick types. You can see steering wheel like joystick, small joystick. So some joysticks are attached to the keyboard, some joysticks like gear, gear, uh, lever, 
uh, some are like steering wheel some are like uh, paddle so so, uh, so different different joystick types are there right mostly these are used for gaming purposes and some are used for special scientific usages as well right then uh, touch screen light pen light pen is a special, special pen which is going to which is which you are going to draw in the screen when you draw in the screen especially this is used for cat design and sometimes in the commentaries commentaries like cricket commentary to show the fielders to show the show the weaknesses highlight to mark so light pen is it's similar to the pen uh, which is there in uh, annotative pen which is there in zoom so it can be used to draw in the screen so it's like the annotative pen in zoom it is virtually there but uh, this is a physical one right this is a physical one which is used to draw so then uh, imagine and video input devices personally uh, my idea is this is incorrect answer but they have given and this is also incorrect answer but still they have given since it is given in the syllabus you need to learn but you have to remember the correct thing as well why i am telling digital camera is a wrong it's not input device why i am telling like that any reason do you have any idea about that yes why it should not yes. be treated yes, yes? Yes, it can even output, right? Uh, it can even output. It can even store. Right? Digital camera can have a memory to store, memory card to store. It has output here. It has a display output. It has inputs, keys. So these keys are inputs and having output. It has output, input, storage, and it has a processor as well to process. It can use now. Nowadays, digital cameras can edit photos, right? When you take the photo. So... You can edit it in the camera itself. So it has everything. It's a small computer. So how we can call it an input device? So nowadays, because like this is bit all syllabus, maybe earlier this, but in this image also you can see, you know, there is a screen, a screen output. So you can't keep this as an input device for that reason. But you can use to input. <laughs> you can use this to input image. That is true. But the thing is, it is not input device. Making input take a gun very come but it is not input device. It is a system. It is a system like computer. It has many features. So it is not just simple input device. So that's why I don't like this categorization, but it is anyway given in your book. So if they ask in the examination, you can write down because it is there in the syllabus. But for the real life, so don't remember this fact for the real understanding this is not just input this has many things then webcam <coughs> webcam i agree because webcam cannot work alone it is not independent camera in order to webcam to work you need to connect that with a computer without a computer connection a webcam cannot work webcam computer connection you need to connect it to the computer then only the webcam works Therefore, you can consider webcam as input device. That I agree. So it can be internal webcam, which is there in the laptop, or it can even be external webcam. Can you plug two webcams to one machine? Can you connect two webcams to one computer? Yes? Can't, can't sir. No, you can right you can connect multiple webcams to a single computer that is possible right? but sir it will uh, work only one no yeah because for some application it is asking which web so it will ask which webcam you need to use right but some application are allowed in multiple webcams but most of the application for an example think about zoom Zoom will only, if there are two webcams, Zoom will ask which webcam you need to use. Right? But there are some applications where you can use parallel webcams. Right? But those are rare. And closed circuit television, CCTV, closed circuit television, that is also not just about the camera. CCTV is not just about this camera. 
So when you mean CCTV, CCTV has DVR unit as well. This DVR has a processor and DVR has a hard disk. So that is why I'm not agreeing with this uh, CCTV answer. Because the CCTV can connect to DVR, you know, digital video recorder device. So the DVR, CCTV camera, DVR, CCTV camera, input the closed circuit TV, closed circuit TV camera. You can take camera. Right? Camera you can take uh, as input device, but if you think about the CCTV system, it is not just input. It has storage, output, everything is there. Therefore, complete CCTV is not output, input. The complete CCTV is a system, whereas CCTV camera can be taken as, a, as an input. Then the scanners. Scanners are very common. There are different type of scanners, but basically there are two categories of scanners. So those two categories, let me name them. Category number one is called flatbed. Category number two is called handheld. So please write down. We can just note down this flatbed. And the second category is handheld, right? Flatbed, this basically you have to keep it. Flatbed scanner, what you have to do, you have to keep it, keep the scanner in the in some place without moving. That is flatbed. You have to keep the webcam without moving in a single place. That is called flatbed. Handheld, you can move it here and there. It's portable. You can move it. So especially these barcode readers in the shops. So those are handheld. Some are flatbed, but mostly. There are handheld scanners. Handheld scanners you can bring here and there. But flatbed scanners, you have to keep it in some place. Anyway, scanners are used to scan image. A scan image means it's so you can take a document as so in this uh, nowadays, put in the mobile phone also, there's something called cam scan. Have you used cam scan in the mobile uh, phone? Yes or no? That, that's a uh, uh, we want to put the picture to that application and they identify what was that like that. No, 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 no. It is simple. So when you turn on the camera, so your camera will uh, is intelligent enough. It's asking whether to scan the document or whether to take a photo. So sometimes it is in the modern cameras. I'm not sure whether in old phones it is there, but uh, in the modern cameras, basically it's asking that, right? So there is a software called cam scanner. You can put that cam scanner and scan using the camera. That is one thing. You can make a good thing, you know. Cam scanner get a software good thing. You can scan it. When you are going to take photos, normally in my camera, uh, it's asking whether do you want to scan or take a photo. If I say I need to scan, it will only take the document. But that document take a gun or photo take a gun or what data who in on the background a cake object? So when the scan object scan is used, it will ignore the background objects and it will only take the document. But when you when I ask to take a photo, it will also capture the background document. Right? So that is the difference basically. Let me show if there is an image in uh, this. Uh, terms can pause. Photo. There are like this is these are two features. Okay, uh, so here this is like this is actually one thing, so not perfect. But uh, here, when you take a photo, right here, when you take a photo, it will be taken as this. But when you take a scan, when you use a cam scanner. So it will convert this photo into a document like this. It will only take the document, even if it is angled or not, or alliterative, but it will only take the document. That is the cams, that is a scanning feature, right? That is a scanning feature which is available with the cameras now. But that, those, that is not a scan actually, that is a camera. But uh, this is about scanners. Scanner is a Thing that we you can take the document so in the computing world 
to scan the document images you can use scanners in uh, this is barcode scan you know there's a special code called barcode to identify some goods in the supermarket and it can be used to label identify objects and similarly we have qr code qr code is a 2d barcode qr code which is a 2d barcode two dimensional which is used to so this 2d code you can store numbers you can store links uh, you can store websites uh, contact information you can sco store many things in the 2d barcodes right so this is qr code and so mostly in uh, most of most of the products now you can see these qr codes that is also done using this qr code scanner not the barcode scanner there's something called qr code scanner and so these are also categories of scanners so not just that so this is flatbed and this is handheld and this is also flatbed type so this is handheld type right different 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 scanners and this flatbed type this is magnetic in character reader so it is used to read the checks right m i c r is used to check reading what is a check basically check is a document we are here this is a document this is maybe a check you can so if you are doing a youtube channel you might get a check how many of you are using youtube channels doing you your youtube channels yes how many of you are doing youtube channels can you raise your hand no one oh my god don't you have idea to do a youtube channel I, ha I had the idea. But you forgot it. <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, we have anyway, Pute, we, will we will be organizing a special seminar series in future. So today, actually, now we are planning it. Uh, not only me, there are some professors, lectures uh, combining. Uh, actually, we are going to uh, do this together as a volunteer work. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to organize a seminar island wide. And uh, we will send invitation to you as well. You can also join. So we will actually suggest you easy method of uh, populating your channel, right? Not just for channels, social media basically. So the Salama Pikiela then channels again, and there we will uh, so help you to like you have some goals. Ne? When you want to create a YouTube channel, there is a goal. That means you need to complete thousand subscribers, right? And four thousand watch hours. To monetize, to get money, to earn money, you need thousand subscribers. And Akil, I think you have channel, right? Akil, you got one. We are not respond anyway. So thousand subscribers and uh, four thousand watch hours. Like thousand subscribers, four thousand watch hours. Then what am I Getting thousand subscribers, it's not easy. Sometimes if you are lucky, people love your work, you might get the subscribers. If you are like Johani and started a singing, started singing a song like Manike Mage Hite, maybe overnight if the song get popular, you will get millions of subscribers if you are lucky. But that is not there with everyone knows that I am that not that much lucky. So, so we are trying our level best, but it's very, very difficult task. But we will suggest you a method that in this seminar series, so we will ask like thousands of several thousands of students to join. So that is your responsibility as well. If I mean, I organize that, the mama kiya na, who go like Puluan, that I yalu onga da gan nega. If I mean, I go to school yalu onga. Etta kotha the idea is this. So all of you will create channels. All of you will create channels, and uh, so there is a me there is a thing that you should do. Make awang ko karan no. You need to subscribe thousand channels. Right? You, we will give one week. Within one week, you need to subscribe thousand channels. So, like, all like the color code, the couple of the alu, the hakage channels, all the subscribe karan no. And as a result, those thousand will resubscribe. That is subs to sub. Those subscribers will resub subscribe your channel. I got that one. Hari, I got that. All of you will get thousand subscribers. So, after the seminar, I got that. Ganna pula angunot lama it did a hak. So, let's say there are two thousand students in the seminar. So then what will happen all 2000 will subscribe your channel and you have you have to subscribe 2000 channels ultimately what will happen 
right? You will have 2,000 subscribers. So your first goal is achieved. Then the next goal is we win ours. We have another plan for that as well, right? Anyway, we will help you monetize your channel and start the channel with strong, in a strong way. Then you can put your, uh, maybe you can do whatever you like. All are not good in dancing, no. Those who are good in dancing can dance. Those who are good in singing can sing. Those who are good in techie gadgets or tech reviews can do that. Those who are good in acting can do that. Those who are good in comedy can do that. And this can be used by those who are not good in subjects. Okay, let's say you are not good in science. Then my suggestion, try to do small, small videos related to science. If you're not good in maths, then try to do small, small videos related to your friends in maths. Why? There are people like you. They will come to your channel and they will watch your channel and ultimately what will happen? So you have motivation, then what you can do? Throw a tawatama maths video down. Ultimately, what will happen after one year? Maths is not difficult. Right? So you don't have any difficulty, and there are a lot of followers following your channel as well. So, likewise, we have a positive approach of building young generation into the into uh, this uh, cyber world. So we, we have a positive approach of bringing you to the cyber world with the social media, but so people will think that is a risky thing. Yes, that is true. But the thing is, you will be really benefiting if you join. I'll invite all of you. invitation So maybe today or tomorrow, I can send you the invitation. It's a telegram invitation. Please accept. And not just that, don't accept and wait. So try to join your friends as much as possible. Because so if you can join 10,000 friends, that is a bonus. And So let's say uh, 10,000 students or 20,000 students are there. So all have same intention. So then, so you will be like getting your subs and you will be getting your views very easily. And therefore, spread this as much as possible. And this is we are going to do island wide. Right? This is just some. Uh, innovative approach that we are going to apply to build your future. Okay. Then MICR. I just wanted to tell MICR. MICR has a check. This uh, check reading facility. This is MICR code and it is read by the check reader. Right? MICR can I check read karanantamaya. Then Google lagin Google and Tenne Bute may monetize color karagan the check in the Google lagging. So this is what uh, YouTube uh, actually, it is AdSense, right? This is the check that you are getting. It is not a check. Actually, these AdSense. When you do AdSense, you will get this kind of check from Google. Google AdSense. Yeah, this one. It is from Google AdSense. Then you will know what is take, right? If you have not used optical character recognition. So this is there. So if you are using Google Lens, OCR facilities there. So use the app. There is an app called Google Lens. Google Lens. All of you can install that. The motor pulang install karana. It has this OCR facility. OCR mean optical character recognition. Optical character recognition. Again, if you image, you document, characters. So here you can see in this book, there are characters. And Google Lens will recognize these characters. It can even translate this character to another language. It can recognize characters in any document, in a book, in a written page.
right? You can see this is a book, this scanned, and you can select the characters in the book. That is wonderful, right? And real time, you can see the book in another language. Let's say it's an English book, but you can see, you can read it in single. Let's say this is a Chinese book. The same time you can read it in Sinhala or English. That facility is there with the Google Lens, right? So that is doing optical character recognition. That means this software and the camera will be able to recognize the letters written or printed in a document. So that is the advantage. That is OCR. OM mark, optical mark reader. This you know in your examination. If you have face examination, MCQ questions, so this uh, all level MCQ answer strip or A level, advanced level, MCQ answer strip, basically you have this, uh, this kind of thing. You have to color the, color the correct answer. Actually, it is read by, this answer will be marked automatically by this OMR. But don't color two balls. Don't color and erase. Don't tear the paper. That's why it tears. Because if you do such thing, it is difficult to this machine to mark the paper. So when you are marking the paper, be careful. First mark using the pencil or maybe put a small dot. Don't mark the, don't color the entire thing. And finally, when you confirm, after you confirm, you can. Mark. And ATM, ATM is also... Actually, it's not input device, but ATM has magnetic stripe reader, MSR. Magnetic stripe reader, MSR. Actually, it is capable of reading your card. Inside ATM also, inside ATM machine also, this MSR feature is there. The magnetic uh, strip reading or oh, it can read the chip and also the magnetic details uh, magnetic stripe so which is a uh, magnetic stripe is the stripe behind the atm card this part so all these cards you have this magnetic stripe no? this is they are in the atm card so it can be read. okay microphone Microphone is used to input that is common, right? What else? Cracker ball, I have given. Cracker ball is also input device and MSR, we have discussed about that, okay. So let's learn about the output devices quickly. So output devices, there are three categories. Soft copy, hard copy, and sound. And there are some other things. These are mechanical. So in the mechatronics, mechanical arms. Me, uh, that is the fourth one, right? Number four, mechanical arms in mechatronics. Mechatronics means electronic plus machinery. It is robotics basically. So that is also a type of output device. Please write down this as well. This is additional thing. In addition to soft copy, soft copy means basically what you can see in the screen is a soft copy so what is printed is a hard copy sound is you know what you can hear okay please write down this Okay, 
Then soft copies. Soft copies are basically what you can see in the monitor or the screen, or we call visual display unit or VDU. Visual display unit or VDU screen monitor. Actually, there are three kind of monitors. So the old one is CRT. We call cathode ray tube. Actually, it uses CRT uses a technology where it's an electronic beam. This is electronic beam. This image is not clear. CRT has electronic beam. This electronic beam here, you can see this electronic beam is touching the fluorescent screen. Actually, it has phosphor and some other materials. When the fluorescent beam or fluorescent the screen is touched, it will illuminate. Right? It will illuminate. This is a phosphor powdered screen, and you can see. So when the electronic beam touches this, it will illuminate. Deepyak Sahito Patwil. And different, different beams, different strength of beams or different waves of beams will illuminate in different way, generating different colors. But this need, right? This need big electrical field, high voltage. So do not remove the cover of CRT because inside that there can be high voltage. Loku voltage. So CRT has that high voltage inside that. Therefore, it uses high electricity, high power. It uses more power and more consume here, more consumption of electricity. And no, not only that, it is larger in size, it occupies very large space, larger in size, size good activity, and it also uses uh, more power. And it is heavy. Sometimes it's it's always more than five kg, right? There were some lightweight versions, but mostly it is five kg or above. Kilo pahatat kadiye very low weighty. Goda ke. Therefore, it was really inconvenient to carry from one place to another place. And internet kiniya na tamaro. So those are the problems with the CRT monitors. So if any question given? So, what are the drawbacks or what are the issues of CRT? There are many issues. One is it is very large in size and it is heavy, it's very difficult to carry. It uses big space, it utilizes big space. I'll give this thing as not, right? Don't worry, I'll give these things as not. Right? Then it will be, it will consume, it will consume more electricity. So, those are the problems with these monitors of CRTs. Then LCD and LCD LED. So which is better, LCD or LED? Yes, LED. LED is better because it has high brightness, right? LED is better because it has high brightness. And when you compare LCD was LED, you can see that, right? So you can see from the image, LCD brightness and LED brightness, two brightnesses, where uh, LED image is clearer than the LCD image. And this is another comparison. You can see LC the angle when it is in the angled view, LCD image and LED. LED has more colors, more brightness than LCD. And that is the And there are something called OLED. OLED is, is also very good kind of monitor. And so there are uh, TFT is also thin, thin film transistor, but that is not mentioned in here. TFT monitors, thin film transistors, TFT monitors, but it was not mentioned in TFT is also a technology, right? Which uses LCD, like technology, it was there in, but CRT, you know, CRT is a very primary. And these LEDs, right, these LEDs are cheaper. LCDs are, sorry, LCDs are cheaper, but the thing is, it consume, it also consume less electricity, but the thing is the image quality or image brightness is not really high. And also you can see when you pressure the screen, 
uh, when you pressure the stream, LCD, when you pressure the stream, and when you pressure, or when you give a pressure using your hand, but don't pressure it high. So this LCD actually, it will give the pressure marks as well. In this highly pressured, this marks may appear. And not just that, when you pressure using finger, so you can see, but don't do that. Don't actually, don't pressure high. So a slight pressure, when you apply slight pressure, you see this image, you can feel that as a liquid, but that liquid is not actually tangible. It is behind the stream, but you can feel the liquidity, feel the liquid status of this. That is LCD. But LEDs, it's using bulbs. So you know there are large LED screens, right? LED screens, LED grids, LED grids or screens. These, these are, so there are small LED grids and there are large LED grids as well. Very large LED grids, very large LED TVs. So sometimes these are hanged uh, in the roads. Right, because it it generate uh, really big brightness. Right here, you can see these are very large LED grids in the buildings, in the roads. You can see this kind of large LED or OLED streams walls. And so those are very very big. Right, and this is also LED. These are LED displays. You can see the brightness is high, therefore you can even use when there are light, when there is light. In that case also you can use LEDs. Okay, so it is also having low electricity, uh, like uh, low electricity consumption. Use, now we are using as monitors also. Or LED monitors, or sometimes you are using in the uh, mobile streams too. Then uh, multimedia projectors. Actually, there are two kind of projectors here also that is also not mentioned here. So one is LCD projector, which has similar properties like LCD screen. It has very low light. It has like low light sensitivity. Uh, sorry, it has uh, it has to be used in the low light environment because if there is a uh, light present, then the image will not be clear. But there is something called digital light processing, DLP, two categories of monitors, LCD and DLP. DLP is basically similar to LED, but it's not technologically similar, but it producing brighter image than LCD. LCD images are not that much bright. Right, brighter images are produced by DLP monitors. LCD monitors producing very light images. And projector is basically what it does. It will enlarge image using its lens and display in a wall or uh, display in a uh, maybe wall or maybe in a stream. So it will enlarge the image and display. That is the nature of projector. Okay, that is about the soft copy outputs. And not just that, you have 3D soft copy outputs. Have you seen holograms? Holograms, hologram fans? Hologram fans? Holograms, hologram fans, these kind of devices, right? So it can actually create a 3D image in the space. When the fan rotates, here the fan rotating, it can show you an image in the space. So that is this hologram fan. Okay, this is a set of fans. It can create very large image as well. Right, that is in the space. And Not just that, 
So there are some hologram displays. Hologram display. Actually, this is done. So you can also create your own version of hologram display. To do that, what you have to do is you have to, uh, yes, there is something called DIY. Do it yourself. You can create this kind of, you can even either use glass or plastic like this, transparent plastic like this and create this pyramid shaped object. It's like a pyramid, right? Then you can keep it on top of your mobile phone screen like this. Then, so there are some images, there are some videos called holographic videos. Those are there in the YouTube. You can play such video and keep this on top of your mobile phone and you can see a 3D image inside this, inside this uh, shape, inside this pyramid, you can see a 3D image using Holodrap, this DIY project. Holodrap display, try to create one. That is not hard, you can create one. It's the, uh, I, I think grade six, seven students has also done that. So it is not hard. But Holodrap fan project is much difficult. Hologram fan is difficult than this. So this is, uh, you can see the hologram. You can use glass also. Glass will be, if you can use glass, the image will be more clear than using plastics. Okay, then the hard copy. Hard copy means the printout. When printing out, there are two, two categories of printers. One category is, the first category is called uh, impact printer. These impact printers are basically pressure in the printing paper. It's touching the printing paper. Impact printers for in print kind of paper like a touch, you know. It's touching the paper and therefore it generates a noise. Okay, so I hope you have seen this device. So that is called uh, typewriter. Typewriters are were used in the schools earlier days. These typewriters were used in the school earlier days. When you type using the typewriter, the typewriter will go and touch. When you type using the typewriter, it will go and touch the ribbon in front of it. It has hammer. So later by later, there is a hammer. In this corner, so you can see typewriter hammer. So this hammer, so if you can see enlarge images, this is how you can see the enlarge image. So letters, so here letters are written. So letters are written in these hammers. We have well, me may tell you, letter ka clear la. You can see A B C D E F G like. So in this hammer, there are letters written. So what will happen when you type? Hmm? This hammer will go and touch. This hammer will go and touch. Right? This hammer will go and touch the ribbon. Ribbon has a carbon. So carbon like ink. Do you know the carbon copies, carbon papers? Carbon color ki lagan no ekade. Pan up the lali woman. Dark blue color. Yeah, yeah, dark blue yeah, color. Yes, 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 dark blue color. When you type uh, using the carbon, when you, when you type on top of the carbon paper, so there will be a copy created, automatic copy created, and that will be behind the uh, paper, in the next paper. Similar to that, so there is a ribbon. This ribbon is also having ink. When you when this is pressed against the ribbon, when the hammer is pressed against the ribbon, ribbon will go and touch the paper. So the letter will be written in the paper. Right, the letter will be written in the paper. So that is how the typewriter works. I'm not sure whether there's an animation. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, you can see here, ribbon is going and touching the paper. 
then you roll out then you roll the paper then you can type in the next line roll the paper you can type in the next line so it is how you type lines in the typewriter so hammer will go and touch in the so this concept is used by impact printers impact printers will go and go and touch the paper you can see the dot matrix dot matrix it has a head the printer head is actually a set of dots or set of pins right so dot matrix printer head dot matrix head is set of pins make pins go up there mean may wage you can see so these are so these pins can be used to may pin only samare va eliyet no samare va enne ne right let, let's say you want to type letter p letter p type karana me kelling ira baana konna metana thiyana 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven pins will come out seven pin pins will come out and it will be touched against the ribbon and it will create seven dots ඊළඟ ඊළඟ ලයින් එකට යද්දී මෙතනට යද්දී 2 ඩොට්ස් පළවෙනි එක එනවා ඊළඟ ඩොට් දෙක මෙන්න ඊළඟ එක එනවා අනිත්‍ය එකක් වත් එන්න so one will come the next two will not come the one will again it's like this right so if you see uh, the view so one pin will come out the next two pin will not come out the next pin will come out and the next uh, four pins will not come so then this is the head right so this is the head when this head go and touch the paper it will create two dots one dot and second dot so that is this e tama mena metana thiyena the p has two dot no one dot here and the second dot here. those are the two dots created so that is what happened in this dot matrix printer that is why it is called impact printer impact impact kiyanne bala pama kathi karana it will have impact on the paper so we call impact printer line print the line printer can print the entire line such a way similar way similar way it can print the entire line and is faster than the normal dot print matrix print and there was another one which is very old one that is that was called daisy wheel printer but it is not there in your uh, book this daisy wheel printer is all printer it has a wheel like this so the wheel has the letters this hammers this hammer is touching against the letter so the ribbon will be pressured towards the paper and the letter will be written in the paper so this wheel it is also like so this wheel this is a wheel it is also like the this wheel is also like uh, the type right okay non impact printers non impact printers basically those paper printers are those printer heads are not touching the paper so without touching the paper how it can draw there is our problem if it is not touching the paper right if it is not touching the paper say so is there a laser no there is no laser but there is called laser printer actually no laser head is there but instead of that what is doing is it is a uh, you know the static voltage static voltage mean when you rub a pen against your skin and when you try to uh, like point it to a set of small pieces of uh, papers it is basically attracting these papers so that is called static voltage i think you have done that practical in the school so let me remind that static voltage pen uh, rubbing so when you rub a pen right uh, here even a comb you can do this x this one this kind of thing i think you have done comb when you like when you comb when comb is uh, again like comb has the same thing when you rub it again the uh, against the skin so this is a natural uh, neutral paper but here negatively charged pen when there are electrons this uh, is basically taking 
the positives it will try to attract the positives thereby it will it will try to so this is called strat static voltage it will try to attract the these things i think you have done this in uh, school all levels right so under sorry school science haven't you yes sir right so then uh, that is uh, used here this paper is basically paper is uh, statis statistically this is statistic uh, voltage is used to charge the paper then the ribbon has this uh, not not a ribbon this is called cartridge and it has ink dust ink dust right ink dust this is it is dry ink basically this dry ink will go and attach to the paper due to that electricity charges paper එකට electricity charge එකක් දෙනවා ඒ කින්ද paper එකට ගිහිල්ලා මේ dry ink එක attach මේ මෙයා කැර කැර කියනකොට මේ කින්ද dust එක ගිහිල්ලා අර කැලෙනවා after that so the printer is sealing that ink by iron in the paper printer ka iron karna paper by iron in the paper it will seal so that is the technology used behind the non impact printer laser printer and other printers like inkjet bubble jet they are spraying the ink they are spraying the ink. it is wet so this is hot why because it is iron in the paper iron kala tama paper ek ewan it is hot the print out is hot this print out is wet why it is spraying the ink therefore the print uh, print out is wet okay we'll discuss about this part next day but we have to discuss some more topics about the output devices and other special storage and also the ports and so this is a big lesson even though this is a theory this is a very big lesson it has up to network in part network in within tama you are network in and the security is a very very big lesson but after finishing this lesson we have finished 50% of your syllabus by may end of may or maybe middle of june we will be finishing all this stuff so that means we have finished more than 50% of your syllabus after that we will be discussing uh, the easy lessons word excel powerpoint and all so that we can do within next few months and even we can do the revision and after that we can do the papers all these things we have enough time so if your if your examination is there in december we are ready to do that but if your examination will be postponed to may or march or may so we have more work to do because we will have more time to but i'll stop from here then let's see you all next week good night thank you sir thank you sir